extremely exciting day today. I'm on the Brooklyn Bridge heading towards Brooklyn. I'm gonna be exploring a brand new neighborhood today, Brooklyn Heights, very excited. Let's go. There's Brooklyn Heights. My destination is in sight. I have made it to Brooklyn Heights. Let the adventures begin. But first, food. I'm feeling like pizza. Fortunately, Brooklyn Heights has two very well-known pizza establishments. So right behind me are two of Brooklyn's most famous pizza spots located right on the border between Dumbo Brooklyn and Brooklyn Heights are Grimaldi's and Giuliana's. Now, eventually I want to eat at both, but I can only eat at one today. Unfortunately. Grimaldi's was established first by the legendary pizza proprietor Patsy Grimaldi. It became one of Brooklyn's best pizzerias. Eventually, Patsy retired and sold the restaurant. However, in 2012, he stepped out of retirement to open Giuliana's, which quickly garnered a stellar reputation. I purchased my pie from Giuliana's, since it was a dollar cheaper. I save where I can. All right, here at Brooklyn Bridge Park, just check out this wonderful view. Pizza was ready so fast, literally less than 10 minutes. Time to eat. So the pizza is in a bag rather than a box. This is interesting, I've never seen this before. Oh, this is one hell of a pretty sight. I can't wait to eat this. This looks perfect. All right, Juliana's looks just wonderful. Picture perfect, margarita pizza. Feels good in the hands. Um, good amount of cheese, sauce, basil. Looks wonderful. Here we go, first bite. That's pretty damn good. I like that. This is what margarita pizza should taste like. Picture perfect, and it tastes perfect too. This is the definition of margarita pizza. So Giuliana's cooks their pizza in coal fire brick ovens, which is kind of a rarity in NYC and uh, kind of a rarity anywhere. With the coal fire oven, you get much hotter temperatures. You get a bit more char on the crust and everything. And you can see on the bottom, a lot more color than most pizzas. Yeah, that is a solid looking char on the bottom here. I mean, you see, this is one hell of a good looking slice. I mean, all the ingredients are really good. Fresh, wonderful, cooked to perfection. This is excellent pizza. Yeah, so I'm really liking the sauce here. It hits that perfect happy medium between too salty and too sweet. It's just wonderful. Just look at that beautiful view. The skyline's pretty good too. This is so nice, I mean, this amazing view, I got excellent pizza. It feels like spring out when it's still winter. This is such a wonderful day so far. That lunch was extraordinary, amazing pizza. Giuliana's, thumbs up. I can't compare it to Grimaldi's obviously because I haven't had it yet, but absolutely amazing. Best pizza so far of the year. Now, definitely have a taste for something sweet. All right, about to get some ice cream at the Ample Hills Firehouse Boat location. While Ample Hills may be a chain, this is a very historic location in a beautiful old building with tons of history. Previously, before Ample Hills came in, this was the location of the Brooklyn Ice Cream Factory, which actually just moved about a block away. All right, time for ice cream. So I picked up this wonderful coffee ice cream with cookies in there. It's so good, so creamy, like the perfect thing to have after a salty pizza. And this weather is just spectacular. I just can't get over this. That ice cream was so damn good. Oh, the only problem was no coffee at the place. So that's what I'm gonna be looking for right now. And by the way, this park is spectacular. Oh look, a friend. 
So I'm heading to the coffee place right now and I've been noticing all the streets around here are named after fruit. I'm not sure why that is. The street my coffee place is on is uh, Pineapple Street. Might have to get more food, I'm getting hungry again. All right, feeling good. Got some espresso from Joe Coffee, reliable spot. Mm. As always, hits the spot. Mm. God, espresso makes me feel good. Now, back to some exploring. So I've just been walking kind of randomly up and down these neighborhood streets and I've been noticing the architecture around here. Amazing, beautiful old brownstone homes, old brick buildings. This is a really, really nice neighborhood for a walk, for exploring, really enjoying my day. So New York City has been home to many famous and illustrious people, including one that lived right across the street at 70 Willow Street, the legendary writer Truman Capote. In his home across the street there, he worked on such legendary works as In Cold Blood and Breakfast at Tiffany's. This is an amazing book. I haven't read Breakfast at Tiffany's. Saw the movie though. Love Audrey Hepburn. The movie of this was good too. Disturbing though. I love that. Master Yoda and the American flag. Right now I'm on the Brooklyn Heights promenade. It is absolutely stunning with the sun and the golden light it's giving off. Unfortunately, I forgot to bring sunglasses. It's pretty damn bright out, but I'm gonna go down below again, try to get some skyline photos before we lose the light. Such, such a great day. Right now I'm on the beautiful shoreline of Brooklyn Heights. The view is spectacular. We've already covered that. The sun, the golden hour right now, amazing. We've got this wonderful view. It's located right next to Manhattan. Amazing architecture, great food, great pizza. This is wonderful. I'm having such a great day right now. I mean, look at this, this is magical. Side note, I do think the skyline view from Dumbo, Brooklyn, slightly better than this, only because you get a better view of the World Trade Center but it's slightly better. Still, this is really good. So right now at the park here, there's this art installation of these bells. They're all along the shore. They're kind of neat, but they get annoying really quick. While I was eating my pizza and ice cream, they constantly annoyed me. Now I'm gonna try it and annoy everyone else. Right now I'm watching the beautiful sunset. It was a great day, great time exploring Brooklyn Heights. I'm definitely gonna have to get back because there's still so much more to see. I mean, these parks, like I've only seen like one. Tons more to see, tons more to do. Great day.